A couple of friends and Tom Cruise are in the headlines. Here with the weekly buzz, it's Tyler Russell from Crush 103.9. Good morning there, Good morning, Tyler. guys. How are you? We're doing well. Well, I'm speaking for Tom and... <laughs> I'm sure it's, we, it's safe to say <laughs> we are doing well. And you, we are talking about uh, Friends today, beginning with Courtney Cox. Yeah, I don't know. Am I the only one who watches Friends like every night when it comes on at 11 o'clock? Probably. And yeah, probably yeah. so. <laughs> okay. well, you, I, and my, you and my teenage daughter. I think I missed the whole, yeah, I missed the whole 90s <laughs> craze for some reason, so I'm catching up now. But there, a few Friends are in the news today because mm -hmm. of their relationships. Courtney Cox, of course, is divorcing David Arquette. They've been doing it for a while. I and was going to say, yeah. Yeah, they, they've been divorcing it's for some like time. It's kind of like Jessica's pregnancy. It's going on for Forever. a really long time. She did have that baby, though. Um, <laughs> um, Courtney just sent the divorce papers back to Arquette, saying, uh, I don't need a lawyer because you didn't use one. They're both going unre upper, unrepresented. But the issue is that there is no prenup mention in either of the divorce papers. Mm -hmm. So that means they probably did not sign one before they got married, meaning they're each entitled to 50% of each other's money. Now, Courtney Cox is worth about 75 million bucks, and David Arquette is worth 18 million. You know, <laughs> Tyler, once you get beyond 1 million, 2 million, what's a million? I mean, there's a pretty big difference between 18 and 75 million. <laughs> I'm just talking temperatures again. <laughs> we have this discussion in the mornings with temperatures. Yeah, Jennifer, you know? Jennifer Aniston, uh, speaking of friends, apparently mm -hmm. she has a new one. That? Yeah, brand, very nice tease, Tom. Brand new <laughs> boyfriend, his name is Justin Thoreau. You probably know him. Uh, as a screenwriter who's worked with David Fincher. He's also appeared in a couple of his movies uh, like Mulholland Drive and Inland Empire. They were seen strutting around Paris this weekend. Apparently mm. he is very happy and who wouldn't be if they're dating Jennifer Aniston, Tom? Mm, indeed. Thank yes, you. she's lovely. Um, and uh, also I just wanted to kind of do an expose on the rest of these friends uh, relationships. Mm. Let's see, Lisa Kudrow is with Michael Stern. They've been married. Matt LeBlanc dating actress Andrea Anders in Little Miss Sunshine. Matthew Perry with Lizzie Kaplan. Hmm. David Schwimmer married to Zoe Buckman. Did you know all that? Uh, well, we do now. Thanks we for do. bringing Thank us you. up to date on that critically You're important welcome. information on Friends. Exactly. But, you know, you going back to Jennifer Aniston and her man. Now, her man is a pivotal part of this new Tom Cruise movie that is quite a buzz because Tom Cruise actually sings and he looks pretty buff yeah. in it. Yeah, when I saw the previews for this for Rock of Ages, I didn't realize he was actually singing. Did you think it was kind of dubbed over? Well, it wasn't Def Leppard, so yeah, okay. I didn't think it was dubbed over. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Justin Thoreau, Jennifer Aniston's new boyfriend, is a writer on this movie. They're both expected to go to the premiere tonight. Um, and it, it, it comes out at Ultra Star Mary Pickford. We're going to have some, uh, some tickets in a moment. But yeah, Tom Cruise actually sings. It has cameos from people like Sebastian Bach, Debbie Gibson. You've got to watch out for those. And Def Leppard uh, actually is okay with the film because it's actually named after one of their songs, Rock of right. Ages. They think Tom Cruise does a fine job singing, so all is well in the rock world. Yeah. Well, he did buff up, though, for this, didn't he? I mean, he got in shape for the I, movie. I can't remember or the last time I saw double. Tom Cruise with his shirt off, to be honest. So yeah. I'm well, not sure. It, it, the, I don't know whether you've seen the previews for it, but oh, it, yeah, does of look, yeah. it looks interesting if they could yeah. just get rid of the the singing. <laughs> <laughs> the you whole a, point. You have a couple tickets to give away? <laughs> yeah, tonight at Ultra Star Mary Pickford Theater at 7.30, uh, Crush 103.9, and our listeners are going to be VIPs at Rock of Ages. Are, mm -hmm. you, are you playing the soundtrack on your station? I'm actually in the movie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, we're not. We, we don't play a lot of classic rock, but this movie is actually pretty cool. Yeah. So and it looks want, like uh, George Clinton right there. Uh, two tickets, 1-800-409-2-WIN, uh, <laughs> caller number two. Tyler, it's always great to see you. It is. Indeed. You guys as well. Thank All you very right. much. Thank you so sir. much.